present since uh, early this morning, but there's also been a lot of activity in and around the house and kind of up until really we, we came on air tonight, hasn't there? Yeah, so there has been an uh, ongoing uh, police activity uh, around the house since very early this morning. Uh, as you can see, oh it's still goodness. ongoing here at the moment. Um, the officers have erected a large blue tent outside the exterior. Of like the you see, a very busy scene there. Uh, we can see that van came a little bit too close to you there. Uh, so just to keep safe on the on the pavement. Um, but can you talk us through the, the legal restrictions in this case? Because police did touch on that in the statement, didn't they? Yes, yeah, so following Peter Murrell's arrest uh, early this morning, we have been severely limited under Scots law. What we can say due to the Contempt of Court Act, uh, as you say, Police Scotland uh, did advise the general public in their statement to exercise extreme caution uh, when discussing the case on social media. This means that there should be no speculation on any public forum. That may help to explain to viewers why they may have been hearing similar statements from politicians and public figures throughout the day whilst discussing the case. Uh, now the next step for officers is to send a report to the Procurator Fiscal and Crown Office and they will decide how to proceed. OK, our reporter Sean O'Neill there live outside Mr Murrell's house this evening.